Hello, and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by the team at Trace Labs. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over sock puppets. What are they? Why do you want to use them? What are the different kinds of sock puppets? And maybe most importantly, how do you get one set up for a Trace Lab search party CTF? Let's get started. What is a sock puppet account? To put it simply, a sock puppet is an alternate account, typically a social media account, that you're going to set up for the purposes of collecting open source intelligence. With the caveat being, or the important part being, this account is not going to obviously lead back to you. So an alternate social media account that doesn't link back to you that you're going to use to gather open source intelligence. That's a sock puppet. Sock puppets serve two pretty important functions that are worth talking about. There's utility and there's security. So from a utility point of view, it makes sense to craft a custom social media account for the purposes of gathering intelligence. If you were trying to, say, befriend someone on LinkedIn, you might want to create a personality that they're more likely to accept. Or trying to friend someone on Facebook trying to let someone's private Instagram account um, you know, let you follow them. For all these things, you, you might want to create a person that would be more attractive to the person or organization that you're trying to investigate. So from a utility point of view, it just makes a lot of sense to create a new person for the purposes of your investigation. Sock puppets also make sense from a security point of view. It's just good OPSEC to make up an alternate account that doesn't directly point back to you for the purposes of an investigation. If you were looking into a person or an organization, you probably don't want them knowing who you are and that you're poking around. So utility and security. Now we're gonna talk about setting up our sock puppets. But before you rush out, and just set up your new LinkedIn, your new Instagram, I want you to give some consideration to a few things. If you do a little bit of pre-work, it's going to make setting up your account a lot easier, and it's going to give you a much more successful final product. The two things I want you to consider, or the two questions I would like you to answer, are anonymity and persistence. So do you need this account to be truly anonymous Yes or no. And when I say anonymous, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that a sock puppet doesn't directly point back to you, but it still could. Or it doesn't obviously point back to you, but it still could. So do you need to craft this account in such a way as to be truly anonymous that no matter how hard an organization dug, they probably wouldn't connect it back to you? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, it's doable, but it's going to require a lot more work on your part. Persistence. Do you need this account to be persistent? And when I say persistent, a persistent account is essentially a fake person that you have created that will interact with people on social media. So you'll be making connections on LinkedIn, you'll be following private Instagram accounts, you'll be infiltrating social networks for weeks, months, or even years. That's a persistent account. So you're going to want to do a lot more homework, a lot more pre-work in order to set up this individual in such a way that it's going to serve your purposes. If you don't need it to be persistent, then you're probably just trying to access publicly available resources. You're trying to view public Facebook profiles. You're trying to view public Instagram profiles. An account that is not persistent is much easier to set up, but it's maybe not going to be as useful as a persistent account, depending on what your end result is. The good news is for a Trace Labs search party CTF, we don't need a persistent account since our intelligence gathering is entirely passive. We're not sending friend requests. We're not making connections on LinkedIn. We're not following private Instagram profiles. 
because of the nature of the CTF, you don't need a persistent account. You just need an account. When it comes to anonymity, I'm going to make the case that for the purposes of a search party CTF, you do not need an anonymous sock puppet account. Are they nice to have? Absolutely. But again, everything we're doing is passive, and I don't see a lot of risk in some organization somehow being able to connect my Facebook sock puppet account back to me for the purposes of this CTF. So the sock puppet that I'm going to show you how to set up is not going to be anonymous and it's not going to be persistence. We've spent the majority of this video talking theory. Let's talk application. How do you actually set up a sock puppet account? Well, the process itself is pretty much just like setting up a regular social media account with the exception of you're trying to avoid any automated or any built-in checks that social media platform has in place that might screen out what we're doing. And we'll cut straight to the chase and just get right to Facebook. Facebook is by far the most difficult sock puppet to set up of all the social media platforms. They appear to care the most that the people setting up these accounts are who they say they are, and they appear to have the most automation in place to guard against setting up sock puppets. So if you can set up a Facebook sock, you're going to be headed in the right direction, and all the other social media platforms should be just fine. Something we haven't touched on yet is that gathering OSINT is both an art and a science, and setting up socks leans heavily on the art side of that model. You might have to try a couple different things or a couple different combinations of things to get it to work, and I'm not going to lie, something that works today might not work tomorrow. But I'm going to go through a couple of maybe do's and don'ts. You can try these things out and see if they work for you. From my own personal experience, the most important part of this whole equation or the most critical thing is the IP address that you're originating from. So where does Facebook see you coming from? In my experience, that's what's mattered the most or the thing that has raised the most red flags and made it difficult to set up a sock. So for this, we're going to want to avoid, avoid Tor and we're going to want to avoid using a VPN. I know. This is the only time I'm ever going to advocate don't use a VPN. We want Facebook to see us as the most regular person in the world. So think on your home network, not on a VPN, just your regular connection. Something else that also works, if you do this on your mobile phone, just on like your regular data plan, like not on your home Wi-Fi. You can also try to use Starbucks Wi-Fi, fast food Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi, I've had mixed results with that. I've gotten the best results just from being at home, not on a VPN, on my regular just home network, or on my mobile phone using my regular just LTE connection. The next thing to consider after IP address is what email you're signing up with. Again, you're trying to appear as the most basic person in the world, so think, Gmail, think Yahoo, I've had luck with Fastmail, and what you might say is, well, I have to give them so much information just to set up that account. Well, we talked about this. What we're doing right now doesn't have to be anonymous. If you were trying to set up a truly anonymous sock, there are a number of other steps and a lot of, a lot of other pre-work we would have to do, but here we're just trying to set up a not really anonymous sock. So go ahead, get a burner Gmail set up, jump on your home network, and you shouldn't have any problems. The last thing I'll tell you is m.facebook.com. That's going to take you to their mobile site. And the mobile site appears to be a lot more forgiving than their desktop site. So either go there on your mobile phone or from your desktop, go to m.facebook.com and it should let you sign up with your email address, and fingers crossed, your account creation should go through. But I'm not gonna lie, I was doing some tests and setting up some socks the other day, and I set one up just fine on my home network, try to set up another one the next day, everything the same, 
boom, got flagged. I jumped on my mobile phone, on my LTE connection, set one up just fine. Tried it again, flagged. So you may have to try a couple different things to get this to work. But just remember, regular connection, regular email, and you should be just fine. If you have any questions, hit us up in the Trace Lab Slack. If you want to talk about sock puppets, we love talking about sock puppets. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. But the Trace Lab Slack is the absolute best place to get your questions answered.